Okay, y'all, so now we are on our way to the 11th chemo treatment. There are heavy storms and tornado possibilities today around one o'clock. Right now it is 9.42. We are going to probably check the PO box before we go to the hospital. That way after the hospital we can come straight home since it's going to be right in the eye of the storm when we get finished so we can come directly home. Um, me and um, Mr. Christine have been talking about what what we think is happening with chemo and my reaction, my body reaction. Would you like to give them a take on what you think? I just think as the cancer is breaking down, it's fighting back and it's making her body run to high fevers and things. It's, you know, they don't want to get rid of it. So they're both fighting each other, running high temperatures, and et cetera. Et cetera, et cetera. <laughs> Um, so what, what, what I feel like is my body is having a huge reaction. Well, that's what the doctor told me anyway. And that's typical. It's normal. I know it's worrisome. It's worrisome for us too. Trust me. It makes you miserable. It feels terrible. I itch everywhere. I mean, I could go on and on about all the symptoms, which I probably should list them just for those who are getting ready to go through chemo or want to know what and going through that's the purpose of this vlog video vlog and um, doing my journey with cancer and chemo but in a nutshell the chemo is fighting the cancer but my body is fighting the chemo and that's that's how it is and <clears throat> you have to suffer through it I mean even if I took a break it would still feel the same way we would still be doing the same thing um, so I would rather just push through and not take a break because the symptoms aren't going to ease up the symptoms the effects aren't going to be any different if I take a week's break or if I keep going. So I'm going to be a trooper, a warrior. I want to get my life back. I want to get my husband's life back, my kid's life back, everybody's life back. I'm tired of it being on hold, so I'm going to push through it, rather if it kills me or not. Um, the symptoms are going to be the same. The effects are going to be the same. Even if I took a, a week break, two week break, a month break, whatever. It's not going to matter. Um, uh, so, we're approved. We're ready to go. We're extended. And I don't have to worry anymore. Mr. Christine doesn't have to worry anymore. And we're good to go. On our way to the hospital, like I said, we're going to check the PO box first. It just takes a minute. And then we'll go on to the hospital. I think that's the smarter thing to do. Also, I think we're all, we're going to park in the garage because by the time we come out, the storms will be like right in the middle of happening. Um, we should be finished about three o'clock. About three o'clock, maybe two thirty, three o'clock. Just depends. I only have two chemicals to be put in today, and not three. So again, this is the eleven chemo treatment. Here's how the sore is. Yes, I put makeup on it. I know I shouldn't, but I don't want to scare anybody at the hospital. Um, I will be wearing a mask, mask going in just because I know that my immunity system is super low. Uh, my blood cells, my red blood cells, way, way low. So I need to be really careful. There's supposed to be another variant of the C. O, V, yeah. So, I definitely don't want to catch that at all. That would be detrimental if I did. So, I need to be super, super careful. And um, so, I will see you at, oh, I've got to put my um, 
numbing medicine on. Y'all already know what it looks like. Here's what, what my port looks like right now. I haven't put it on yet. I just got out of the shower. I, I, ha I wasn't going to take a shower until after chemo, but my whole body's been itchy and so, and that's just a reaction to the chemo from last week. So I took a shower before and when I get home, I am going to take a sh hot, hot shower after. And then I, after that, it unloosens all that stuff and I, I blow my nose really good and get all that crud out of there and get all that, wash all the, that chemo out of my pores. And uh, I've washed all my bed clothes while well, Mr. Christine washed all the bed clothes. And um, so we're ready to go. So we've got all of our medicines ready for when I get home. I'm going to take it all early today. And uh, let's see if, if I can't win this battle. One battle at a time. We're going to win the war. It's just winning the battle. And remember, ladies, go get your mammogram. Please don't be like me. Don't not get a mammogram. Go get your mammogram. All right, see y'all at the next step. Love y'all. promise we was we have stopped at the post office before we got or went to the hospital so mr. Christine is checking the post office box today right now and um, then we'll go on to the hospital I'm not feeling very good today very tired my stomach is upset and I don't know if it's just because I'm nervous or if it's really upset but I had some um, some crackers to try to ease my stomach but we're running right on time and uh, so after he checks the PO box we'll be on our way to the hospital see you at the next step to give up I'm done with all the things I'm going through I'm trying to keep my head up I try to win but every time I lose should be getting better I try I try but I don't know what to do hope this ain't forever I just want to make a breakthrough but something inside to never give up so it looks like I get a get out of jail pass free today. Um, I don't have to do chemo because of the reaction and the side effects my body did. So I get a get out get out of jail free card today. But I will be back next week for chemo, and I'm probably starting the Red Devil next week. So yay, no chemo today. I'm just waiting for somebody to come and take the port out already got me all hooked up and ready but they're gonna take it out so yay no chemo today all of these setbacks are major setups if i keep on fighting if i keep on trying if i aim for the sky one day things will go my way To push through the pain I've gotta believe in myself mm, yeah. If it's not me, then no one else will But something inside's 
Mm -hmm. Okay, you guys. So, here is the um, results. So, I talked to the doctor, the nurse practitioner actually, and she went and talked to the doctor. It is now almost one o'clock, and they have decided that this week I need to have a break. That my body's showing all the signs and symptoms of really severe, serious side effects. So I am no, I don't have to do this week. I'll go in next week and start the Red Devil or the Blood of Jesus or whatever we're calling it. So we're gonna skip. We're I I only needed to have ten rounds of that combination of chemo to be able to move on. They, um, the studies show that, you know, they, they do 12 rounds, but because uh, my body's showing side effects, I need to have a, take a week's break. And then next week I will be doing the, um, I'll be doing the Red Devil regimen and I get that four times, um, once every other week. So, this, the tough stuff is starting a little sooner, but my body did need a break because whew, it was a battle last week, and I was really upset with having to do it again this week, and it was, it wasn't the taxol, it was the carbapine, what's it called? Carbapine. Ca carbapine. It was the carboplatin that my body's having a reaction to. <clears throat> so they said that I only really needed to have 10 rounds of carboplatin, so I have it, and I don't have to do it anymore. So I told her that's my get-out-of-jail-free card. <laughs> so I'm happy I get to have a break this week. My body gets to rest. I am exhausted. My body is exhausted. Um, everything is exhausted. My stomach is still upset and nauseous. Um, but so this week I get to mend a little bit before going in next week and starting the blood of Jesus, the red devil, whatever we want to, we're calling it. So, um, that's a good thing. I'm kind of relieved that I don't have to do it, that I've got enough in to, sustain the regimen for the plan and um so yay i gotta get out of jail card free this week yay so this week i'm going to be taking it super super easy um trying to mend myself uh before i had chemo I, I didn't take a lot of medicine medication in my body i usually try to do um, natural remedies and to be very healthy and eat healthy um, so my body's just not used to all these kinds of chemicals so I'm just glad that I get a break this week so your girl gets a break yay all right so um, I will see you next time there is no chemo today and um, We'll talk to you soon. This is all. This one's a short one. So, yay. Thank you all for the love, the prayers, the encouragement, the support. I feel it. All, the, everyone uh, walk in the, this difficult journey with me. And we will see you next time. Love you all so much. Now, next time will be the Red Devil. We're not, it won't be missing a week. We're doing the Red Devil next week. So, here we go. Setbacks, some major love you Bye.